now we're going to talk about the measure of central tendency. So in the measures of central tendency, there are three measures, the mean, the median, and the mode. The mean is usually called also the average. You, you, the common term for the mean is the average. Measures of central tendency is the value where all the values in the, in the distribution tend to cluster. So the mean, the first is the mean or the arithmetic mean is the most commonly used measure to, of central position. It is the sum of measures divided by the number of measures in the variable. It is symbolized by x bar. So x bar is the symbol for mean. The, x, the mean is used to describe a set of data where the measures cluster or concentrate at a point. As the measures cluster around each other, a single value appears to represent distinctively the total measures. It is, however, affected by extreme values, that is, very high or very low measures can easily change the value of the mean. Minsan kasi masyadong kalat yung, yung mga results, so it's not very good, yung mean, it's not a very good description of the grade. Ano ba, kung masyadong malayo yung mga grade, so ang mean is not a very good description ng grade. So, for the formula, it's ganito x bar is equal to summation of x over n or in other term i add mo lang yung mga result tapos i divide mo kung ilan sila so just like the average for grade so first quarter second quarter third quarter fourth quarter yung grade mo para makuha yung mean i plus mo sila lahat tapos i divide mo by 4 kasi apat na quarter so that's for the mean next is for the for this is an example so what i have to do is Ito yung mga grade niya, i-plus mo lang yan lahat, tapos i-divide mo kasi 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, kasi 10 sila, so 10, divide mo by 10. So kapag i-plus mo sila, that's 832, divide by 10, it's 83.2, that's for the mean. The median naman, it's easy, the median is yung pinakagitna yung pinakagitna na number. So, the median is the middle entry or term in a set of data arranged in either increasing or decreasing order. The median is a position measure, thus the value of the individual measures in a set of data do not affect it. So, it is affected by the number of measures and not by the size of the extreme values. So, para kukunin yung mean, this is what you're going to do. So, for example, number one, the number of books borrowed in the library from Monday to Friday last week were 58, 60, 54, 35, at saka 97. So, from Monday to Friday, ito yung mga bilang ng mga libro na hiniram. So, to find the median, what you're going to do first is to arrange the data. So, arrange mo yung data from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. Ikaw ang bahala. So, for in here, in arrange yung data so from highest to lowest. So, 35 mauna, sunod si 54, sunod si 58, sunod si 60, tapos si 97. So, in arrange siya. So, mali ito, pal malaki. Tapos, identify mo lang yung nasa gitna. So, in here, ang nasa gitna si 58. Paano kung dalawa ang nasa gitna? Alam ba kung dalawa ang nasa gitna, for example, in here, so, ito daw mga quizzes, yung mga scores sa quizzes ni Cora for the second quarter. So, 8, 7, 6, 10, 9, 5, 9, 6, 10, at saka 7. Find the median. So, the first thing we're going to do is arrange, diba? So, in-arrange us from highest to lowest. So, si 5, si 6, si 6, dalawang 6, si 7, dalawang 7, tapos 8, 9, 10. So, dalawang 9, at saka dalawang 10. So, Identify natin yung nasa gitna. So, nasa gitna si 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, dalawang nasa gitna kasi 10. So, is si 7 at saka si 8. So, all you have to do is i-add nyo lang sila dalawa tapos i-divide nyo by 2. So, 7 plus 8 is equals to 15 tapos i-divide natin by 2. It's 7.5. So, the median is not 7 at saka 8 but kailangan na isa lang yung median which is 7.5. So, 7 plus 8 divided by 2, it's 7.5. The mode naman is also the, e the easiest to identify because there is no solving. So, the mode is another measure of position. The mode is the measure or value which occurs, occurs most frequently in a set of data. So, siya ang pinakamarami. It is the value with the greatest frequency. To find the mode for a set of data, select the measures that appears most often in the subject. Or in the set, if two or more measures appear the same number of times, the frequency they appear 
is greater than any other measures, then each of these values is a mode. So, pwede marami yung mode. Pwede isa, pwede marami. Halimbawa, yung pinakamaraming score is 5 at saka 6. So, yung the mode are 5 at saka 6. So, dalawa yung mode. If the measure appears the same number of times, then the set of data has no mode. So, halimbawa, kung lahat-lahat sila walang inuulit, halimbawa, lahat-lahat sila walang inuulit na number, lahat-lahat sila pare-pareho, once lang, once lang, so walang mode. So, pwede rin walang mode. So, for example, the Suzai says of 10 randomly selected students in a class are 6, 5, 4, 6, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, and 6. So, ang pinakamarami dito na sizes is yung 6 kasi 1, 2, 3, 4, kaapat siya inulit. Yung 5 kadalawa lang, yung 4 kadalawa lang, yung 7 kadalawa lang. So, pinakamarami inul inulit si 6. Ibig sabihin, that is the mode. So, 1 lang yung mode. So, lambo naman dito, it's the sizes of 9 classes in a certain school. Ibig sabihin ganitong number of students. 50, 52, 55, 50, 51, 54, 55, 53, 54. So, isang section 50 lang sila. Sa second section 52, another is 55. So, we're going to identify sino bang pinakamarami na, ano bang pinakamarami inulit na na score or na number. So, 50 kadalawa. So, 50 kadalawa. At saka yung 55 kadalawa rin. Yung 52 once lang. 54 kadalawa rin. So, ano yung result? So, in here, our answer dito sa nakalagay dito, it's dalawa siya. However, it's, di ba, kadalawa ang 50, kadalawa rin ang 55, kadalawa rin ang 54. So, there, the answer should be that low. Kasi, ang pinakamaraming ulit is dalawa. At saka, tatlo yung inulit na twice. So, ibig sabihin, tatlo yung answer. So, 50, 54, at saka 55. Tatlo ang yung mode. So, it's trimodal. So, tatlo yung mode. So, to answer, this is activity. Find the mean, median, and mode of each of the following sets of data. Show the solution if there is, especially in the mean, median. So, for number one, to get the mean, all you have to do is plus. Tapos, divide mo kung ilan sila. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, divide mo by 4. So, we're going to have use to use calculator so that it would be easy. 29 plus 34 plus 37 plus 22 divided by 4. That's 30.5. Five. So, the answer is 30.5. So, the mean is 30.5. For median naman, all you have to do is arrange them. So, ang pinakamababa si 22. Sunod si 29. Sunod si 34. Sunod si 37. Yung nasa gitna, dalawa. So, 29 at saka si 34. So, ang gagawin natin, i-plus silang dalawa. 29 plus 34. Divide mo by 2, which is 31.5. So, 31.5. So, 29 plus 34, divide mo by 2. The answer is 31.5. Next, for mode. Titingnan natin kung sino may pinakamaraming inulit. Kasi, di ba, once lang sila lahat, walang, in, walang inulit na number. So, there is no mode. So, the mode is none. There's none. So, next, for number 2. So, 5, 6, 7, 7, 9, 9. So, mas madali na siya kasi naka-arrange na siya. So, madali na lang siya titignan. So, all you have to do is plus 5, plus 6, plus 7, plus 7, plus 9, plus 9, plus 9. Divide mo by kung ilan yan sila. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. So, plus mo sila. 5, plus 6, plus 7, plus 7, plus 9, plus 9, plus 9. Divide mo by... 7. So, it's 7.43. Rounded off. So, 7.43. So, the mean is 7.43. Next, after that is we're going to identify the median. Kasi 7 sila. So, ibig sabihin may gitna. Yung mga add numbers, may, may pinakagitna yan. So, 7. Next, yung pinakamaraming number na inulit, pinakamaraming, pinakamaraming inulit is 9. 
So, kasi ang 7 ka dalawa lang. Ang there is 39. So, that's how you're going to solve for the mean, median, and mode. So, all you have to do in here, the same process lang. In here, i-plus mo, divide mo by 1, 2, 3, kung ilan sila. Tapos, for median, ay arrange mo sila from highest to lowest, so lowest to highest. Tapos, identify mo lang yung nasa gitna. Yung dalawang yung nasa gitna, plus mo, at saka divide. And then, for mode, identify mo lang kung sino pinakamarami. So, dito, di ba, titignan natin, ang pinakamarami dito si 12, kasi siya ang kadalawa. So, then here, the mode is 12. So, that's how you're going to answer for the mean, median, and mode. Thank you.